One check one. There we are. Thank you, Brother Richard. Let's all stand, turn around and shake hands, and we'll get started here in just a minute. It's good to see everybody here tonight. Amen. Ain't it good to be in church? Amen. Got one there, maybe a couple more. All right. Y'all turn around and shake hands while she plays a number. Let's get started. Let's open up in a word of prayer. Brother Scotty Baker, if you would open us up, brother, in a word of prayer. God, thank you for this good day, God. This another day of life, Lord, that you give us, Lord. It's another opportunity, God, to come to thy house, Lord. I pray you just please bless us in your presence, God, tonight. Lord, help us, God, tonight. I pray you be in the singing, Lord. I pray you be in the preaching and just, Lord, speak to our heart, Lord. And help us, God, not just to be a hearer of thy word, but, Lord, help us to be a doer of thy word. Just apply thy promises, thy precepts to our hearts and our lives. That God, that we be a brighter light, God, for thy honor, for thy glory. And we'll thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Grab your church hymn. We're to page 285. The Lily of the Valley. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him all I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. Page 279. Oh, I want to see it.
341. friend in this world. I thank the Lord for it. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Ask God's help in the service. And we need his help tonight. Appreciate you being here. And Brother Travis, you lift your voice. Ask the Lord to help us. Can be seated. I welcome you to the house, the Lord tonight. Appreciate you being here. I know many of you worked had a full day at work, and you made your way to the house of God. And I, I greatly appreciate that. Appreciate your faithfulness, and I mean we're looking for the Lord speaking to our heart. Let's do this tonight, Brother Randall. Will you help me, Brother Avery? Would you help me, Brother Nathaniel? Will you help me? And Carter, would you help me in the back? Let's let's pass the plates tonight, if y'all would. 
We'll just start from back there in the back. And we'll pass the plates. Everything you give this week goes directly to the, to the Cooper. And I appreciate God using him, helping him, and uh, around the country. It's amazing. When God put him back in the evangelism back in the summer, man, his, his, his calendar just filled up immediately. And I appreciate the Lord doing that. He's a blessing to a lot of places, a lot of preachers, a lot of church families across the country. And we're honored to have him tonight. So musicians are going to play, and you give us unto the Lord. And every, like I say, everything you give, we'll give it directly to him on Wednesday night. All right. Come ahead, fellas.
cemetery. That's right. Boy, when they get about head high, as Brother Dean used to say, we're going to go with them. Amen. He said, right. he said Amen. the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, that, mm -hmm. with the voice of the archangel and the, and the, and the dead in Christ, he said, would rise first, yeah. that yeah. then when we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together right. with, with them, them. Amen. in the clouds. <laughs> To meet the Lord in the air. So we're going to get together. Now, I know it's in a moment and twinkle of an eye. I, I know it's going to be quick and all of that. But in a glorified body, who knows what all <laughs> might, who knows what all <laughs> might go on yeah, that, uh, during that split second that, uh, that we're caught up with them. I mean, uh, they, they make fun of us. You know, they say uh -huh. we're just... We're just emotional. We're just emotional in our singing. That we sing a lot of songs about what a meeting, Brother Jacob, in the air. And, and we sing songs about seeing our loved ones that's gone on. And how we, we sing about those kind of songs all the time. Uh, and Brother Joe used to say they make fun of us, you know, because of that. Uh, and he said, uh, Joe said, that not, not all of our songs might not be scriptural, but at least they're sentimental. Amen. But, but here's the thing about it. But, but, but here, it is biblical that, uh, because right. the Lord is going to allow us to get together with them, and the Lord even lets us get together with him. Right. 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 That's, in this, that's in this verse, right? This yes, chapter, this, uh, uh, yep. so. uh, I don't even know what I'm doing tonight. I'm so. listening to things today. It's a chapter, a verse, it's a chorus. Yeah. That's what right. it is, a chorus. In that chorus right there, that's, that's, that's in that chorus, but also in that chorus, he said, what a jubilee. Yeah. That's what's going on in Revelation chapter yes, 5. Yeah. He said, they're playing with the hearts and they're playing, right. they're playing the music over uh -huh. there in heaven. That all of those different instruments are going to be joining together. <laughs> but he, all, I like that part. I just, that part always stirs <laughs> me up in chapter 5. That, oh, where he said there was a number and he said it was 10,000 right. times 10,000 and, and thousands of thousands. I can't even imagine what kind of, I mean, as a matter of fact, he uses that same term, Daniel uses the same terminology, yep. Yep. Uh, talking about the, the scene around the throne, that I'm telling you, friend, we think it's something over here, that when God moves, what's it going to be like, and when we get our glorified body, yeah. and we get to be right. with that number, and in that number, yeah. and, and have that great reunion together, but hey. also get to yeah. see the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine, yeah. Brother Jay? I just can't imagine, you right. know, uh, every now and then, there was an old, there was an old family that lived next door uh, to my great grand. My great granddaddy uh, Pitchford lived right where my mom and daddy lives now. But right down the road, there was a little old house down there. And, uh, well, the Fortners, uh, Della was her name. Do you remember their names, Brother Roger? Della was the, the, the woman. Uh, anyway, the my, my, my great granddaddy used to go down there, slip down there in the evening, right about dark after he got through plowing and doing whatever he's working, mm. and he'd check on them because there's an elderly couple. <coughs> Woo! Mm. Mm. But he said that they'd be sitting there and have a little table between them with a, with, with a lamp, coal oil lamp going, and they had a great big old family Bible. And said, <laughs> Woo! Said they'd read a verse. And sitting there, they look at one another and go, what about that? <laughs> what about that? Amen. Read another verse. One of them says, what about that? Uh -huh. Can you imagine what it's going to be? Yeah. What about that? <laughs>
precious grace. It was just his precious love. That's the only way we're going to get in. Amen. And we're going to sing about it forever.
happy about that. Well, John said it this way. He said it this way. Behold what manner of love hath the Father bestowed on us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Now listen, here's why we get happy. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he's pure. That's why you get happy about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a hope that purifies us in the world in which we live, praise God. I like that, behold, now we are the sons of God. But I'm looking forward to getting up there with him and getting to see him. It's gonna be a real blessing. Amen, friend. Amen. Amen.
He said, in the, let me get this right here. He said, when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us. I'm talking about when they start naming storms, it ain't no thunderstorm. When it's called, when it's got a name, Eurachlodon, that's not, that's not some afternoon thunder shower, friend. That's a real storm, amen. The Bible said all hope that we should be saved was taken away. But after a long absence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, you should have hearkened to me, not loosen from creed and to gain this harm and loss. And but now I exhort you to be of good cheer. For there stood by me this night the angel of the Lord, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul, for thou must be brought before Caesar. And lo, God hath given them all that sail with thee. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. Yes, there's burdens. Yes, there's dark nights. Yes, there's deep storms. But I'm glad there's a God in heaven that can come to where you are in the darkness of the midnight and speak promises of his word into your heart. He said, hey, he said, Paul, ain't nobody gonna die but because you're gonna make it safely. I'm glad I'm sailing with somebody that's better than Paul. He was a Jew, he was a Jew's Jew. He was the best the world had to offer. But I'm not sailing with Paul and I'm not sailing with John and I'm not sailing with Thomas. I'm not sailing with the disciples. Oh, but 37 years ago, I got on the old ship of Zion. I thank God when I step on board. I'll be leaving, friend. I'm sailing with Christ. I'm going home and there we're all going to make it. Hey, I'm telling you, he didn't promise smooth sailing, oh, but he promised a safe landing. Praise God. We're going to make it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. See that my bar show. Hallelujah. He get dark. You may not see the sun. You may not see the stars. But thank God in the midnight, the same one that's going to be the light of the city there is the light that shines in our darkness and in our burden and in our struggle. He'll help us along the way. Amen. That's what you're to testify. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
and singing, I, I just want to remind you, I make no apology for going to church. We, we have, we really have two revivals a year. We have one in the summer and then we have one now. And I promise you this, I didn't come to rush through these days. And I didn't come to rush through these services because I know what's behind some of the faces that are sitting in here tonight. And we need, we need something more than dead, reformed religion. We're not Presbyterians. We're not Episcopalians. We didn't come out of the Protestant Reformation. Can I get a witness? Amen, friend. I know a little Baptist history too, praise God, a little, a little church history. We're not, we didn't come out of the Reformation, amen. And I don't want their dead, I, I don't want their dead, deadness. I'm telling you, we're, we're living in a demon-possessed hour. And our, listen, the dead going through the motions, church, it ain't going to pull nobody out of hell and save them out of the fire. It better have something that's got some power on it and lets it got some reality to it, something that'll change their life for the glory of Christ. And moms and dads that are trying to raise teenagers in this world, we're trying to raise G-rated children in an X-rated world. Can I get a witness? And sometimes you need to come. We need a little something more than just run through the meal and just run back out. Amen, friend. Amen. This is a real, this ain't a playground. This is a battlefield with casualties. And man, I don't want our families to be that. And I tell you, listen, I know it's, 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 a, it's eight, whatever it is. I, that don't, you say, preacher, listen, we'll do anything else we want to late at night. And nobody gets nervous until we have a little bit longer of a church service. Amen. We need the Lord, friend. We need the Lord. Our homes need the Lord. Our, our hearts need the Lord. We need the house of God in here if we're going to make an impact out there. Amen. Amen. I praise God, man. I'm glad he stirs my I Let me just put it this way. I come to church looking for God to move me. I, he ain't going to have to force me and push me and pull me. I'm looking to get in. Amen. Amen. I need him. I don't know about you. I need him. I need him to help me. I need him to stir me. I need him to change me. I need him to speak to me. I need to worship. Amen. Y'all, anybody just like to work every week and never take a vacation? No, you, you, you like to catch your breath, everyone. That's what worship is to me. Man, we go out there and pl we go out there and plow and labor and plow and labor, and man, he'll come in here and let us the spirit of God will move, and he lets us worship him for heaven and salvation and the goodness of God and the word of God. Amen. I'm glad it's not all the burden of Moab. And all. I'm glad every once in a while there's a little glory along the way. Amen. I need it. I don't know about you. I need it. Amen. Amen. I bless the Lord. Amen. Well, Jacob, y'all come back. You and Miss Ashley. Miss Ashley, if Chris had to step out and bring me the baby, I'll hold it. Or somebody, Chris Carter, will hold it. Y'all come back and sing one, Brother Jacob. Amen. I felt like you need to do that, and I about talked myself out of it. And then, I, So I was rebuking myself, being worried about the time right there. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Brother Howard. I've been sitting here, and you done shamed me, and I got to say a word. Go ahead and say a word. Yeah, you found out about I you. I found out they had a more excellent name than the angels. Hey, Amen. Yeah, and it was far above all principality and power and might and every name that yeah. is named in this world and that world which is to come. Go ahead, Brother Howard. And they called his name Jesus. Jesus. Because the angel yeah. said, call his name Jesus for he shall save his people, people from, from their sin. That's what the angel Amen. said. And uh, he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Yeah. And of uh, be an end. Amen. Hey, and we're going to be in the endless kingdom, and there won't be any end to me or you either one. That's right. Because of what he's done. It was all on his account, all on his accord, all by his grace. Hey, Amen. Yeah, 51 years I've been saved. Hey, Amen. They told me that it probably wouldn't last. I'd be back with the same old bunch and the same old crowd doing the same old Go ahead, thing. Brother Howard. But for 51 years I've been walking the straight and narrow. <laughs> hey, Amen. Hey, Hey man. Yeah. And I got in church. Hey man. And I stayed in church. Hey man. And church hey, wasn't man. always what they said it was going to be, but I stayed in church. Hey so man. That's where it is. Hey, hey man. I love the church children. <laughs> hey man. Hey, hey man. Hey man. Hey man. He's got a name above every name. That's the name of Jesus. Every knee 
knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Hey. That's right, Brother yes. Howard. Hey, Amen. You know yes. Hey, Amen. 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 Tell us about it, Brother Howard. Tell us about it, Brother Howard. said he said Moses was a servant in the house but the Lord was the builder of the house amen glory to God hallelujah you know what that does 81 years old soon to be 50 years old let me tell you what that does that just encourages me I ain't got to dry up on the stalk I ain't got to die I ain't got to get I ain't got to get sour on the things of God I ain't got, listen, I ain't got to get so burdened down this darkness of the world because we got something greater. Hey, the light, listen, there's never been enough darkness to put out the light, friend. Amen. That's what that does. That encourages me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pray. We have gathered in your house, and I confess that I'm so tired. The burdens of this life are so heavy on my mind, but I
I'll take my two boys in the altar all day of the week. I cheered for them when they hit balls and shot baskets. And I, when they caught touchdown passes, I'd rather see my boys in the influence of the Holy Ghost in an altar and knowing what to do when the Holy right. Ghost moves. I'd take that more. You couldn't give me a million dollars to change that. Friend, thank God. I worship it. I lift his name on high. It's saved them by right. the grace of God. Kept them out of hell. Right. Kept them from ruin. Say. I bless the Amen. Lord for his bless goodness. Him. He's wonderful. Yes, He's good. He thank does. God. Oh. Hallelujah. Play, I'm not, listen, friend, you've come a long way too late. If you think you're going to cramp me, I, I'm not going to hell. I, I've been saved by the grace of God. My so, name's in the Lamb's Book of Life. I've yes, been sir. born again, Amen. washed in the blood. That's My right. sins have been forgiven. I'm a child of God, not tomorrow, not if I endure, but right now, at this moment, He's my Father. I'm Amen. His Son, and He ought to get glory for that. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless his name. I had given my life and my body and my strength for some dead God that doesn't have eyes that can't see and ears that can't hear and a nose that can't smell and hands that can't feel. But I've given him to a living Savior who's alive and well, who's the lifter of my head, who's the carrier of my burdens, who's the answer of my prayers, who is the Word of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the one that's all together lovely. I tell you, thank God. That's him. What about that? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Bless the Lord. I worship him again. Not the first time. It ain't the first time. And by the grace of God, it won't be the last time. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I ain't raised them to chase the world. I've raised them uh, to love the Lord and love the church and love the Word of God, love the people of God. And buddy, when you begin to see it, uh, when their exposure is becoming their experience, I didn't make Riley come tonight. Uh, I didn't make Elena come tonight. Uh, uh, but somewhere along the way, uh, uh, the God of their daddies uh, uh, became their God. Uh, I'm glad, thank God, youngins. Uh, I'm telling you, you'll find uh, he'll be as faithful to you uh, as he has been to your daddy and as he has been to your mother and he has been to your preacher I say try Jesus he never fails he's worth it you'll never regret it I'll give him all I'm telling you thank God he's everything he claims to be and more amen, amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen, amen. I'm going to shout with you one day when it's your boys coming down here. I'm going to shout with you. I'm going to shout with you one day when it's Link coming. That's right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Brother Adam, I'm going to shout with you when it's your girls full. Brother Mark, we've been shouting a while when our boys get in. I'm telling you, thank God, I'm going to shout when Beckham gets saved and Oliver gets saved and Gibson gets saved and Henry gets saved. And when they realize that it's not your daddy's God and not their daddy's God, but it's their God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to I wanna worship him again. Amen. You ain't going to have to coax me or prod me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He walked off the pages of that book today and fellowship with me. Amen. Hallelujah. And there are people that say we're too emotional. Well, if they don't like it, I got a place to be. Amen. Go ahead, son. Yesterday I testified on being homeless. Go ahead. Growing up, that home, that, that's where mom and daddy were. Yeah. And because mom and daddy were there, but my needs were met. I didn't have to worry about a lot of things. I didn't have to, it was met. I didn't have to worry about it. And not only my needs were met, my wants 
like the MasterCard commercial, friend. That's priceless to me. Yeah. Amen. That's priceless. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't tell it. He wasn't telling you what I taught him. That's something the Lord showed him. That's something the Lord's done for him. Aren't you glad you didn't have to go to a box with a man with a robe on and talk to him? You didn't have to go through anybody but the Holy Ghost or to get in there to that inner chamber, the Holy of Holies. He'll do for you what he's done for every child of God before you. He's faithful. Hallelujah, children. Amen. Some of you young are sitting here, you've been so dead for so long. It'd be a good night just to throw your pride down. Hey, listen, you say, well, it didn't, this didn't work out. Let me tell you something. He'll never let you down. Uh, people will disappoint you. Uh, and your own dreams and your own flesh will let you down. But I'm telling you, uh, if you'll cast your all in him uh, and own him, uh, he will carry you through. Praise God. Amen. Hey. Amen. I've only got 37 years. You've got 51. How many of you got, RB? How many of you got, Brother Lyman? 53, 78, 51. Has he been faithful? Is he worthy of glory, RB? How about it, Brother Howard? Thou art worthy this the Reverend John, the Reverend said, to receive honor, glory, and power. Amen. Go ahead, Brother Howard. Created. Amen. Hey, look at here, young ones. I ain't fussing at you. I'm exhorting you. Don't stay in that. All of us get in that, in that lull and that, in that little lob lolly as the old timers used to say. You get in that rut and man, it, it, all of a sudden your Christian life, it, it, listen, this is not some creed that you repeat. It is a life that you live. It's not a duty that you perform. It's a love that you carry through on a daily basis. Don't ever let your Christian life deteriorate into some a burdensome duty. The Bible said for the love of Christ constraineth us. I'm telling you, the love of God is the greatest motivator for you and I to serve Him and to worship Him and to give Him our all. Amen. It's time. After 22 years, I've watched different groups come through. Rose, I remember you a little girl. You weren't even big enough for me to see you testify. So you would get up in the seat and say, Preacher, can I say a word? Dear time, testify in the Holy Ghost. Hey, girls, he'll be everything he has been to your daddy, to your mama. He'll be everything for that to you. Amen. And listen to me, you youngins need to realize he's not coming to your pew to make you. He's not coming here and he's not going to drag you. He's not going to get you by the shirt, a skirt tail. No, he's going to invite you. He's going to invite you. He's going to give you an invitation to worship him. The question is, what you going to do with that? Amen. And you say, well, some of the young ladies to get worried. Well, what if I worship God and it don't the boy it turns the boys off? They need to be turned off. There's two lanes right out there in that road, and they can get in whichever one they want to get in. Or stand on the yellow line, as far as I'm concerned. Amen. Amen. What about you, young men? What about you? 
And now listen, y'all boy, you've been saved. Y'all been saved. Every one of y'all sitting up here. You going to heaven? Does Philippians 4 4 say, and when you get 16, rejoice? Or when you're a husband, rejoice. Or when you're in the teen department, rejoice. Or did it say rejoice? And again, I say rejoice. There's no qualifier on that statement. There's no, uh, there's no place you've got to reach. There's no letters you've got to have after your name. It just said rejoice. And again, I mean, that's talking to the child of God. That talks to the new convert. That talks to the young couple. That talks to the senior saying, we've all been charged to worship God. Oh, he said, he ain't even saved yet. And I saw his back, picture of his backpack the other day with his Bible slid into the side pocket of his backpack. He asked his teacher the other day, he said, y'all do Halloween here? He ain't even saved yet. What's it gonna be when that God that saved his daddy and saved his mama? How many years ago this month, Taylor? 15 years ago, on a Friday night, I'm preaching that night on going to hell from Calvary. And she never got through the introduction and got saved in the introduction of the message. What about that? What about the God that saved you one day is going to save him? Hallelujah. How about it, boys? Bro, did it say you had to be called to preach? Amen. How about you, boys? How about us preachers? How about us preachers? We've been put in the ministry, not because we're worthy, but because he's gracious. Amen. I'll just tell you what Brother Edgar told me years ago. You'll never be able to work for him until you learn how to worship him. Amen. If you can't drop your pride and embarrass your flesh, why in the world would he help you when you're in a pulpit? If you're more worried about what they're saying out here, why in God's name would he put his hand on you in the pulpit? But when you get to the place where you don't worry about who's here and who's there, and you listen, Lord, you're everything to me, and I want to drop my pride, embarrass my flesh, and tell you I deserve to be in hell, and you loved me before I was a preacher. You loved me when my mind was wrong and my heart was wicked. I'm telling you that ought to promote some worship in the heart of a child of God. If an 81 year old preacher man can just do what he just did, let me just ask us what's our excuse? Amen, Brother Cooper. It's a night off with pay, brother. Amen. Amen. Say on, son. Go ahead, son. Thank you for being long, son. Go ahead. No matter what I've done. Go ahead, Carl. Oh, thank God he's always. Amen. Whenever I'm busy at school or whenever I'm busy doing something else, whenever I'm putting something in front of him that I should, he right. never leaves. He never yeah. leaves. Oh, thank God for loving me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for loving me and saving me. Amen. That, that all know that you said this. The same thing never going to be smooth. It's not always going to be smooth. Sailing. Go ahead, son. There's always the destination that I got that I can't get out of. There's somewhere I can go that I don't have Help to go. Yourself. I don't have to go to hell anymore. Right. Because he saved me. I don't have hey, to go. Amen. Hey, That's man. right. Amen. 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 Oh, thank God for loving me and put me in a good place that I can hear the God. Hallelujah. That I can come to and I always have a hey, Amen. No matter what I do or where I go. Hey, Amen. Amen. Love you never leave me. Hey, never throw the clay away and always work it on me. Hallelujah. I wonder. 50 years ago, 60 years ago, Grandpa's daddy used to go out in the woods on right there beside our house. He'd pray. They'd tell me where two trees went up. He'd put a hand on both trees. And my uncles and my tell me that you could hear his voice echo through that quiet neighborhood. I wonder all them years ago when he prayed for his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren and the fruit I wonder what he's saying tonight. Hebrews 12, 1, I believe he's listening. <laughs> he said, yep, I didn't know I was praying for him, but that's a good job, son, amen. Yeah. How long did you pray for that blessing? Tell me, tell me, how long? How many years?
Y'all okay? I may preach till midnight. I've done got full of praise, God. You know that tired, that tired part she was talking about? How many times did you, did you get tired of year after year there being no answer? Last year when you had this meeting, he wasn't here. And I wonder how many times the devil came to you while you were expecting him and said, oh, he ain't going to make it here. But you brought your answer prayer to church tonight. You brought your answer prayer to church. Your answered prayer's got 10 fingers and 10 toes, and he smiles at you, and he loves you. Amen. Glory. When the devil said, nope, it ain't never going to happen. How about it, Brother Chris? Everybody, look, I mean, look at him. Amen. Y'all all right? I mean, listen. If everybody put their halos up, if we'd have been in the same place, we'd have got discouraged. We'd have wondered, Lord, is that ever going to happen? Lord, I've given you my best. I'm giving you my best. I'm serving you. Can't you just answer this one prayer? Ever been there? At your prayer time, you little bitch that you and Ashley pray in. You ever get down and think, Lord, why, why am I praying? The one thing we're really asking you for. But you brought him to church tonight. Hello? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's so many reasons sitting here to worship God. This time last year, we just worried about if your daddy was going to live. And tonight, I mean, dear time, he just took up a building fund offering with a $100,000 check in it about a month ago. Numbers are up. He ain't coming. He's serving God. We're praying for your boys. And one of them slipped in here yesterday morning. You say, what'd you do? I made a beeline to him and hugged him and kissed him. Right. And said, I'm glad to see you. Amen. So the next time the devil comes up and says, nah, no, they're too far. You just tell him he's a liar. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. Father, Father. Amen. Glory to God. Brother Roger, at this time last year, just about one more month, you didn't know if you was going to make it, didn't know if Miss Pat was going to make it. But there's been grace for every mile. There's been grace this last year. Times you didn't think you were going to make it this far. Brother Lyman, we didn't know if you were going to make it this last year. But look at here. On November, in no, almost November the 1st, here you are sitting in the grace of God. Drove yourself. One of you drove to church tonight. Amen. Amen. Hey, brother, brother, uh, brother Titus, it was, about, it was about 14 months ago in a summer revival. I saw you get full on about a Wednesday or Thursday night. I ain't seen you that full in a long time. And, man, you ain't took your foot off the pedal since, amen. I say glory to God, amen. What about it, Brother Chris and Miss Mary? Prayed all them other children around you getting saved. And Callie and, uh, Callie and Clay ain't got saved. And all in one swoop on one Sunday, God just saved both of them at one time. I Say to God be the glory. Hey, Brother Greg, just squeeze your blessing right there. I know it ain't everything it probably wanted to be, but it could be worse. But God just continues to give grace and to give grace and to give grace. I say glory. I say hallelujah. I say worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Amen. So pick whatever reason you want to. What about having a church family that on the spur of the moment just says, we're going to love our brother. That's how a church family ought to work. We've been praying for you, boy. We've been praying for Jacob and, and Sierra. Jacob sat in my office six weeks ago. He said, preacher, I want to get right with God. And then a post we read this morning how many times the devil said, boy, I got them. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all okay? Amen. When y'all just going to throw in and say, Lord, if it's me and you for the rest of our life, 
That'll be enough. And what you'll find is when he gets to be enough, he may just bring you, he just may bring a Roaz riding up in your field. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. She didn't leave, she didn't leave Moab knowing there was a Boaz in the field. But buddy, when she got back to the house of God, she found out there was a Boaz in the field. A mighty man of wealth. Hallelujah. Y'all all right? Y'all ready to sing again? Hey, if nobody else is getting help, I'm getting. Amen. If there's any desire in me, I want to see our children put their arms around what we have done our best for the last 22 years to expose them. I mean, when they were babies in diapers and didn't even know any better, and they put their hands up in the put their hands up in the pew and they didn't even know no better. Amen. Now they're getting to know better, and they ought to be putting their hands up in the pew. Y'all ready? Sing a little bit more. Amen. Look, Cooper, that's good preaching you're doing. Amen. 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 Let's just stand to make it easier. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are wonderful and mighty, King of kings and Lord of all. When I magnify your name, all my problems seem so small. So
Psalm 1 and go to Psalm 150 and just take that out of your Bible. Because it's full of public, demonstrative, vocal worship. Amen. And if they could worship him under the law, I mean, under the law, stand for hours upon hours to hear the law read. My. Well, what would they have done if they'd have heard Paul say something about, for by grace are you saved? Through faith. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should. That's right. What do you think they'd have done then? Good night. My soul. What if they could have just bowed their head and not had to wait till the Day of Atonement? <laughs> what if they just wanted to go to church and they didn't have to go get a bullock or a turtle dove or a ram? If they could just bow their head. <laughs> Good night. If they could worship like that in the law, how much more should you and I in this dispensation of the grace of God? Amen. Whereas, like Carter said, he's just always there. That's right. Yeah. Amen. If there's any characteristic of the character of God that means more to me is the long suffering of Christ. That he puts up with me. Can I get a witness? Anybody else? Anybody else just feel like you want to thank God that he puts up with us? Puts up with us. A lot more than put no. He loves us. My soul. To God be the glory. I appreciate the Spirit of God today. Amen. Amen. Don't worry, Brother Cooper ain't lit nerd. He, he's fine. Amen. He didn't bother. He don't bother him. Look at here. When you do it every night like we do, we're looking for somebody. See, we're looking for the Holy Ghost to help us. Amen. You go to try to preach when there ain't no spirit of God in the place. Yeah. Am I telling the truth there? Yeah. Now you've been here long enough to know what that's like. Sure. I mean, good night. We need the Lord. Amen. Say on, Miss Wynn. Amen, Miss Wynn. <laughs> yeah. That could be the testimony of 98.999% of us right there. Yeah. Ain't that right? We're so, we're so wired to, to murmur and complain about the two or three things that are not right and forget about the 10,000 things that are right. Oh, my. Yes, sir, R.B. Yes. No. <laughs> Amen. 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 How many years again? I'll be 70. 78 years. What about that? Been saved 78 years and still want to confess that I'm, he's a child of God. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe what he'd tell you after being seven, saved 78 years and been through some dark hours, spent almost 90 days in the hospital after about a 35 foot fall off of a 
Yeah, flesh to eat. That's right. You know what he'd tell you? He'd tell you it's been worth every mile of the trip. <laughs> yeah, he said some of them days in the hospital laid there. He said it was him and the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amen, R.B. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. The Lord's helped you tonight. Say amen. 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 Isn't he good to us? Oh, Little children said immeasurably. They said yesterday morning more. Immeasurably more. <laughs> immeasurably more. He's the only one you can use those kind of adjectives with. Heavenly Father, thank you for the presence of God. Thank you for your people who have responded. Lord, melt the snow off of our hearts. Warm our spirits. Lord, that we can go out into this world. Lord, not just so we can come in here and feel good for a few minutes, but that we can go out in this world and be salt and light and make an impact on people's lives with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for moving tonight. Thank you for the good spirit. Thank you for Holy Ghost singing the choir. Thank you for the promise of heaven. Thank you for Brother Mark, mine and the Lord, and the singing, the touch of God. Thank you for Riley and Carter, Miss Wendy and RB, the ones that have testified tonight. And the other ones that have just sat there and rejoiced in their spirit. Thank you. Thank you that the Holy Ghost wasn't grieved that you had right away. Bless your name. Come meet with us tomorrow night. We'll be careful to give you glory for what you do. Amen.